Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio, and today I'm gonna share with you how to create that new scroll title in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing is that I want to bring in my timeline here a new fusion composition, and then I'm just gonna extend the fusion composition to about 20 seconds. But you can extend that to whatever length is necessary to display your message properly. Keep in mind that the longer your message is, the more time you're gonna need to give it for it to be displayed properly without being too quick. Now let's just select our fusion composition and go over to fusion. Once in fusion, the first thing I want to do is here bring a new background and link the output of that background to my media out. And then I'm gonna reduce the alpha channel down to zero. Then I'm gonna need a second background, bring that in and then link the output of that background to my first background to merge it with the node. And then I'm gonna select that second background and then select one rectangular mask, which is gonna be the best in background for our title. So I'm just gonna reshape that quickly and extend that to just fit the entire frame. If you want, you can just extend it to the entire frame, but me, I'm just gonna reduce it a tiny bit, and then I'm just gonna make some rounded corner. So I'm just gonna increase the corner radius right there, and I'm gonna take the position and bring that down. Now I'm gonna take a text node and just bring it in the working area and link the output of that text node to my merge two. And here, we're just gonna write news. I'm gonna change the font for Poppin, which is a free Google font. You can download it on googlephone.com. I'm gonna bring it here on the left side of my composition. I'm gonna adjust here the H anchor to the left side. So if we were to make any modification to the news to change it for whatever other appellation that we like, like notes, for example, or live, we could do that very easily without destroying our design. Here, I'm just gonna reduce the size a little bit and just add two dots right there. For the font, I'm gonna change from bold to black and I was just gonna add our crawling text. So I'm gonna bring a new text node in my working area, link the output of that text node to the merge. And then here, we're just gonna write whatever message we want to be displayed. Once you've done that, you can just change the font. So here I'm just gonna change it for pop-in. I'm gonna leave it as bold. I'm gonna then adjust the H anchor once more and I'm gonna decrease the size considerably and adjust the position. So here, I'm just gonna bring it here and align it properly. Bring the size a tiny bit more down and here I'm fine with that result. Now I'm just gonna select my text too, bring a mask and we're just gonna mask out our text. So here, as you can see, the text that is outside of the box disappears. So we're just gonna create a box so the text is displayed only in that box and not outside of it. So I'm just gonna adjust the shape of it. Here, we're gonna adjust the height, we're gonna move the position, bring it down. And then here, I'm just gonna adjust the width. And now one thing, I'm gonna adjust the soft edges because I don't want to have like a harsh cut. I would like to have like a softer cut. So I'm just gonna increase the soft edges a tiny bit. In my case, 0.005 seems to be good. Now the layout of our title is done, we just need to make the animation. To do that, we're simply gonna go over to text two. We're gonna drop here a keyframe at frame zero on the center position and drag the text outside of the mask that we've created on the right side. Then we're gonna go at the end of our composition and this time we're just gonna drag the center position on the other side, so here on the left side. And now if we play it, we get the text just crawling from right to left. The speed seems to be pretty good. We can read properly what's going on. If it's too quick for you, just go back and extend your fusion composition. It means that simply you have not enough time to display your entire messages within the time that you choose. So right now, 20 seconds to display that length of a message seems to be good. Now we're gonna do one last quick animation and it's gonna be here to bring the entire title in the frame. To do that, I'm gonna go to my merge, hit shift space on the keyboard, and here we're gonna search for transform and bring a transform node in our working area. Then I'm gonna drop here a keyframe at frame 20 and I'm gonna drop that keyframe on the center position and then we're gonna go at frame zero and we're gonna just drag the title that we've created outside of the screen. Then we can simply go to the spline editor. We can select here transform Zoom to fit, select auto keyframe point, hit S on our keyboard to smooth that out, then hit T on our keyboard to bring the ease in and ease out, and we can just then bring the ease in up to 85. And now we have our final animation. One last tip here, if you want to just make it quicker or slower without having to restart completely this composition, you can do it fairly easily here by just bringing the rectangle to text two just here to make some space and then select your text two, hit shift space on the keyboard and search for a time speed node, just bring that in. And then here, if you select nearest and then here with the speed you can adjust the speed to make it slower if you just bring the speed down so here at 0 0.7 instead of one that will be about 30 percent uh, just slower than before and if you bring that up so here for example 
1.3 that will be about 30% quicker than before. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.